All right, so uh, let's look at the change of base property of logarithms. Um, why would you need to change your base? Because uh, a lot of times when you calculate logarithms, you use a calculator. Uh, you know, apart from the easy ones, you're going to need a calculator or a slide rule. Um, just kidding about the slide rule. If you know how to use one, you are awesome. Um, okay, so you're going to be using your calculator. And typically, a calculator will only have the natural log, that's log base e, or uh, just log and the log button, you know, that means log base 10. So if it's a base other than e or 10, um, this change of base property is for you. Okay, so it basically says, if I've got log base b of x, that's equivalent to log of some other uh, base that you choose. Um, okay, and so you're going to choose either base 10 or base e because that's what your calculator can do um, um, so let's let's say log base 10 so log of you know some base of x is equivalent to log base 10 of x over log base 10 of b um, for example okay so let us just apply this um, so log base 3 of 4 that's equivalent to, and I'm just going to write log, but when, when there's just log and there's no base indicated, that means log base 10. So th that's equivalent to log of 4 over log of 3. Or uh, natural log, you know, log base e uh, over natural log of 3. However you want to do it, whatever you prefer. Um, so you could just do uh I'm gonna do I'm gonna do natural log just for fun. Okay. So natural log four over natural log three one point two six something. Alright, so it just makes the calculation easier. So log base seventeen of thirty seven, you know, when are you ever gonna come up with a log with base seventeen? I don't know. You might. Um Log base 17 of 37 is equivalent to log base 10 of 37 divided by log base 10 of 17. Um, and, I mean, if you, you know, maybe you're solving a problem where for some reason it would make it, uh, make it easier if you expressed it with... You know, some you're not using. This is not for the purpose of using a calculator, but you just want to rewrite this situation so it's you know you're solving it in some creative way. Uh, you could you could pick any base you want, you know, within the definition of logs. So you could say, if for some reason it it makes your problem slicker to say log base five of thirty seven over log base five of seventeen, you know, go for it. Uh, but usually you would pick log base 10 or log base e because um, that's you know what's handy to calculate on a calculator or something but but it's really just log base as long as you're using the same base uh, it, it can be any base all right one more log base 2 of 10 is equivalent to uh, log base 10 I'm just gonna write it out of 10 uh, log uh, base 10 of 2, for example. Um, all right, so that's, that's the property. It's useful, so um, hopefully this helped, and I will, I will see you later.